everyone, Jamie Madison here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be playing with this cute little elephant. This is the Simon Says Stamp little freebie I got in the mail a couple months ago and I wanted to go ahead and put him to use. So I went ahead and stamped him with just my acrylic block today on a scrap piece of paper. This is the Bristol Smooth in 300 and I'm using my VersaFine and Onyx Black. I'm just going to coat that real well and stamp this little guy on here. Now I've been noticing lately when I've been using my um, Bristol paper that it has been smearing. So I went ahead and let this dry for a few minutes. And then I went ahead and went in with my colors. Today I'm going to be doing the 174 in Dolphin Gray. I have all of the colors listed in the left hand corner and I leave them up there as I'm coloring. And I went ahead and used my water pen. And as you see here with this little elephant, um, the changing of the color on his face is because when I went to use my water pen lately, I go to push to make the water come out and all of a sudden I get a huge blob of water. So I dyed that off with my um, little towel that I had. So you'll see that the color in his face went from darker to lighter, but I'm going to color that back in, so don't worry. But I don't know if you guys have had any problems with your watercolor um, brush pens, your water pens. Um, blobbing out a whole bunch of water on you like this one has been doing lately. So it did it with uh, when I was doing my flower for the last video. So I ended up just keeping my acrylic black next to me and just been keeping um, some water on top of it. I guess I'll have to look and get a new watercolor brush uh, pen. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with my bumblebee yellow and 128 and my teal and 138. I'm going to go ahead and do his hat and color in the lines. Um, and then for the teal, I went and just added a little bit of water down the center of each one and dabbed that away with my towel as well, just to give it a little bit of a highlight in the center. And then I'm going to go into my blush pink in 163 and give him a little bit of blush on his cheeks and in his ears as well, just to make him look nice and cute. And here I am filling in um, his face from earlier whenever I had to um, grab that color back up because of my water pen. I wanted that area to dry a little bit better. So I went back in with my dolphin gray and just recolored in and made him a little bit darker as well. He did look cute nice and white but these colors will dry a little bit back as well. Um, but I end up really liking the way it looks because it brings more of the blush um, on his ears and his cheeks out a little bit as well. I think he turned out super cute. The only part that I would advise is right here when I'm doing his feet um, with this Noir color, the 104, is I wouldn't do black in the future. Um, I probably would have went back in with just like a light brown or, or a darker gray and did it and not in the black. So what I did was I took my watercolor pen and once again it blurred it out some water on me which ended up making it smear. So I just kept adding more water on there and trying to blend that out so I didn't have to scrap this little guy um, and end up pulling it enough to um, save him. And then I just took a little bit of washi tape because I'm going to put a little balloon and I didn't want the string of the balloon to stamp on his trunk. Now I will say I stamped this twice and that was hard to do. If I knew I was going to have to stamp that little balloon twice. I would have used my Tim Holtz stamping platform because with an acrylic block that is very tricky. But we end up making it work and then I went back in with that bumblebee yellow that I used on his hat to color in that balloon and he turned out nice and cute. So here I'm going to take another piece of my Bristol Smooth in 300 and I cut out a little background scene. So for the grass area because I still don't have any stencils yet I am ordering some. Um, but for right now, this is working out fine for me. So I went ahead and did like a little bit of um, some grassy plain hills in the background. And then I went in with my mowed lawn and pine needles. So I start with my mowed lawn first. And I just do a nice base. And then I went in with my pine needles. And I did have a separate piece of paper that had more plains, like mountain 
um, grassy hill area and I was kind of going in trying to blend it and you can see right here you'll see some lines I did not like those lines so I decided to go in with my pine needles and just blend that all the way up to the mowed lawn and I think it turned out very well and then what I did with um, the design that I had for the background is I put that piece of paper and then traced it and then cut that out so then I could put the negative area over my grass so I could do my sky. So kind of like how they have that new stencil out with the grasses, um, you can have the negative and the positive. So that's kind of what I just replicated just a little bit easier for me to do um, than the actual grass flakes um, that has on that stencil. I do want that stencil, I do have it in my basket. I'm just waiting to order it. So hopefully within the next week I will have that. So here is where I had the negative area and now I'm going in with my Salty Ocean and Mermaid Lagoon. So I start with the Salty Ocean just to get my base clouds down. So the Salty Ocean would be, I believe the darker of the color. And then I went back in with that same cloud stencil that I used, um, wasn't the last video. I think it was the video before. I'll link it in the description. Um, and I just made a little cloud design that I cut out and just I kept in the stencil but um, I did notice with this stencil because I've used it quite a bit now um, the paper is starting to peel back a little bit from all the blending but it still works for right now until I can get my um, order put in and by the time I have this video up I'll have my order put in so I just kept rotating my cloud and working my way up I switch to the Mermaid Lagoon halfway going up and then whenever I get finished with my stencil I go back in with the Salty Ocean just to kind of blend those clouds through so they all feel like they connect. I really like the way that these clouds turned out on this piece. And then when I peel back that, you can see that it was a nice little negative area. I had one little white spot right there that I blended back out with my Salty Ocean. And I went ahead and made this into an A2 size card. So an A2 size card is 11 inches long because I do top folding cards for this one. And then it's gonna be four and a quarter wide and then you score it at five and a half and that makes your A2 size card. And then I went ahead and just stamped happy birthday in the center. I wasn't quite sure um, what birthday saying I wanted to do, so I just went ahead and did happy birthday. I'm gonna get some die cuts here real soon um, for my sentiments because I love those nice big love and happy and thinking of you and all those cute little die cuts. So then I just went ahead and cut out my little elephant and the balloon, I was so scared I was gonna tear him because it was so, when I was cutting it out, it was so fragile and I ended up ripping the top of the balloon. <laughs> so I went ahead and just cut it off um, and I was gonna just restamp that balloon. Um, so you'll see me have to realign that. So don't worry if you mess up on something, It's you know, figure out an easiest way to fix it without scrapping your whole card. So I went ahead and just placed some cute little gold and blue sequins to match his hat. Went ahead and added my Wink Stella on the balloon to make him nice and, and glittery. And I added it to his hat and to the happy birthday. I wanted it to have some kind of dimension in it um, with the, the happy birthday. Um, I think if I had a die cut that said happy birthday, it would have tied it together a little bit better, but I don't own one at the moment. Um, I am new to card making. I just started doing card making in March and slowly adding to my collection. So I'm hoping that I can start building it up. And then I went in with the glossy accents on the balloon. 
And there we are, we have this cute little happy birthday card. I hope you guys enjoyed sitting with me for a few minutes and I appreciate all of you. You guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time, bye.